Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Death and Destiny. I am Death from Above. Today we're doing an exotic max video. I haven't done one of these videos in a while, but it was requested that I would do a rundown on the invective. It's gonna be blasting some fools, so I'm gonna do an exotic max video on this invective. Now, I've had this invective for a little while. I maxed it out a month or two ago, and I've been uh, kind of not using it. Kind of not using it, but with the uh, shotgun buff that came last month, shotguns are a lot more useful and a lot more fun. So let's go. Sh let's go shoot these guys. Look, boom, this. Boom, missed again. Alright, we're gonna punch you. We're gonna kill this captain with it though. Boom. And you're dead. So, I'm doing the daily mission. For all my legendary max videos, I will have the daily mission where I'm doing the top level. So it's level 30 difficulty enemies. And I'm a 331 invective right now. So, everything's max level. You can see the damage it does and how long it takes to take out something of a high level. Let's see if we can get this right here. Got all those guys. There's one guy that got away. We're gonna shotgun him. So, the invectives. Uh, let's look at the perks. Well, I gotta go kill these guys over here first. And then we'll look at the perks of the invective. Until then, just enjoy this lovely shotgun footage. Let's go. Mm. 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 Yeah, it's got full auto. The reload is not that great, but it's okay. The full auto is pretty, pretty good. It's got hammer forge too. Not sure if I'm using Hammer Forge, but it's got it. It does regen ammo, so that's useful. Uh, not as useful as you would think, though. Not like Icebreaker regen. Okay, is my vehicle link enabled? If our vehicle link is enabled, we will take a look at the invective. Okay, vehicle link enabled. Let's get up here and look at the invective. So, this is the an exotic invective. Everybody's invective will have the same perks as this one. So, it's the invective. I tried to talk them down. They made a grab from a ghost. After that, it was a short conversation. Ikora Ray. So, the invective. You get it uh, from an exotic bounty that you get for turning in regular bounty. So it just kind of pops up. You get a choice of three, and uh, you pick the one that's for the invective. It doesn't say invective. It says, like, Tolan's Journey or something like that. I don't remember what the name of the invective bounty is. But when you finish it, they give you the invective. you got to level up and do all the fun things. So, first... We're gonna look at the rate of fire, impact, range, stability, reload. So they're all about average. Let's compare it to my Felwinner's Lie just to, to have a comparison. See, my Felwinner's Lie fire rate is real slow, but the impact is really high, and the stability and reload aren't as good. But it has a bigger magazine. So looking at my two to the more, this is the Crucible shotgun. That's the Iron Banner shotgun. Um, Crucible, kind of the same way as the Felwinner's Lie. It has some better stability and reload, though. And then uh, the found verdict, there's a look at the found verdict, it has higher ammo. So it's kind of a low impact shotgun, but it makes up with a high rate of fire and a uh, the ability to regenerate ammo. That guy was shooting me. So let's go back and take a look at the specific perks of the invective. It fires in full auto, so you hold the trigger, it shoots off all the shells. It is solar, so it does solar damage. It has accurized ballistic field choke and linear compensator. Um, that one increases stability, field choke. I think I'm going to change it. I'm going to go with, they both do field choke, more range and impact, increased recoil, more range and impact, increased recoil, more predictable recoil, slight boost to range and impact. I think my range is maxed out, and I don't see the impact changing much. So we're going to leave a linear compensator to control that recoil. The first perk is final round. The last round the magazine deals bonus damage. It's a very noticeable increase. I don't know what the damage increase is, but it's pretty noticeable. I'll be popping a popping an enemy to take one or two shots, whereas you get the final round, you're gonna get killed every time. Um, it does have all the damage upgrades to get it 331. I got this after the Dark Below dropped. So it is a 331 weapon. It has quick draw, so the weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. Let's take a look at that. So, kind of boom, boom, it's ready. And uh, we'll take a look at the next perk and then I'll show you what the slow, uh, slow availability is. So, here's the slow draw. Kind of the slow draw, it just doesn't pop up like it used to. But this one increases stability a lot. So, if you see, you don't have to drop, oh, reload. You don't have to drop your aim too much to. So it's not too bad. So that is fitted stock, and then we have send it, which increases range and accuracy. I like to use send it because I'm I, I rush a lot, but let's take a look at send it. See how the the uh, recoil kind of climbs up if you don't have that fitted stock. But I like send it because I get the range, and the recoil is not really that bad on the shotgun. 
so I'm not too worried about the recoil. And it's a shotgun, so it's a slow rate of fire. You usually only fire in one or two shots. We're gonna just take this guy's pike. But the main perk for the invective is invective. It regenerates ammo over time, and I think it comes in blocks of four. I haven't paid attention. It's not as fast. So if you compare it to the icebreaker, which is the only other gun that regenerates ammo, the, the icebreaker has a little gauge, and it comes, I think, every five seconds. You get more ammo. So that's how the icebreaker works. For the invective, I think you get it in chunks of like a full clip, four, four rounds every time. But I may be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know. So that perk is kind of me. I did a video that I'll link at the end of this video on the invective after the patch 1.1.2 in the Crucible where they modified a lot of the ammo drops for special ammo. So you don't get near as much special ammo as you used to. So now that I was, I was like, maybe the invective will be a lot more useful because so, I can have more special ammo. It wasn't. Um, it was kind of a, a bust. I'll deploy the ghost and then we'll shoot some people. Alright, range and accuracy go. Boom. See, it's a shotgun, so you're not going to have that much range, but definitely kill them there. These are not level 30 enemies because this is kind of the mid area. These are level 6 drags. We'll go kill some level 30s later. But this is the invective. It's my invective. It will be yours too. We're going to kill this captain. Okay. Boom! One shot the captain. Alright, I was going to see if. Put one more bullet in the chamber. Alright, we're going to try to do a damage comparison. I need two drags. I need two drags to come here. We're going to show the uh, the final round part. I think it'll kill that servitor. Alright. Did 94, 98, and then that one did 130. So it's like a 50% increase. 50% damage increase. 30 to 50. Somewhere around in there. This is what you get out of the final round part. So, that's the invective. I'm going to go finish up this daily using the invective. Uh, I'll let the video run if you guys want to watch it. Uh, watch me finish up the daily with the invective you can. I'm going to be doing the uh, waking the hive. I'm going to leave a little commentary over it too. Using the invective, this will be a challenge mode. Alright, challenge mode engaged. The end of this legendary, or the, at the end of this exotic max video. I'm not using the invective for everything, but we're going to use the invective until we get to the end of this mission. So we got to wake this guy up, but he's dead. And then we go in there and kill a wizard. We just gotta withstand the thrall rush. So guys, do you like the invective? Do you use the invective a lot? Uh, I don't find myself using the invective too much. We're gonna do the cutscene now. She's gonna talk to me while I dance. Um, there are a lot of other shotguns that I use over the invective for PvP. Um, I don't use, uh, for, if I'm doing PvE, I have a Vanguard shotgun that I like a lot. It's got a hammer forged and something else. Let's see if I have it. No, I don't think I have it on me. But, <clears throat> the invective, it's, it's gotten better. I don't know that I would use it as my exotic all the time, but it is fun occasionally if you want to run shotguns or just do something. Wow, I hit the mic, sorry about that. <clears throat> but it's pretty good. Um, the regen ammo does come in handy. You don't really have to worry about running out of ammo, and I think it'll probably be fully, fully stocked when I get out of this cutscene. So that'll be nice. Um, it's a very stable gun. It's very easy to use and it's very forgiving. You just gotta watch out for running out of ammo. It's only got a four round clip and if you hit that full auto, you'll run out of ammo really fast. So that's one of the things you gotta look out for. I usually run out of ammo. And then if you do that, well, let's, go, let's put on some gloves that do special weapon we can't get them the right now. There we go. Okay, we've woken the hive, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, special weapons. Yeah, we'll do those gloves. Okay, it's gonna take me that long. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we gotta get out of here, we're gonna die. I think I have all agility on right now. Run away! Run away! Run around, go! <clears throat> reload that sucker! Alright, the, the reload is not fast. Alright, we're gonna get out. We're just gonna we gotta clear all these mobs with the Get out of here, Thrall. Get out of here too. I don't know why I'm using this auto rifle, but I am. The only one I had. Punch! Ooh, punch. Ooh, I didn't even look to see what the issue is. So we're on heroic and juggler, so that's not. Oh, we got a perfect, perfect daily heroic mission for this, uh. for this weapon. Juggler is perfect for the record. Got him. Nice. All right, now we just need to clean up. Shotgun. Oh, missed him. 
we're gonna kill that knight in a second with a shotgun. So I like the invective um, sometimes. I don't like it all the time. I'll usually it's just it's not it's a second tier exotic to me. Uh, it could be better. I think it deserves a buff. If, if I was gonna change the invective in any way, I think I'd make either the ammo regen a little bit faster to keep it as it is. I would like to see a little extra added to that perk, the, to the invective perk. It's not as great as I would hope it to be. Maybe with the ammo regen, you get some sort of special other bonus or it regen. I don't want to say regen's health, but that would be cool too. If while holding it, it would slowly regen your health or something like that. I don't know. Alright, let's go shotgun this guy. Oh, one shot him. And, oh, missed him. <laughs> I got no ammo. So, we gotta kill these guys in here. Boom. I didn't get him holding close enough. See, the Hammer Forge doesn't help that much. Or the Send It doesn't help that much. Let's turn Send It off and see if us uh, see if I can go with a different perk and see if it's more enjoyable. Enjoyable? We'll do Fitted Stop. That'll get it under control a little bit easier. I'm doing those three and four round bursts into an enemy. That was nice. Yeah, I like that a lot better. I think I'm just going to keep it on like this. I don't know that Send It is the best use for this gun. Wait for that wizard to come out and we will Nova bomb the crap out of him. Here we go. Boom. Alright, wizard, you're gonna get shotgunned. You ready for this? Boom! Shotgun the wizard. It's over. Alright, guys, I'm Death from Above. I'm gonna dance it out. Just beat this daily. You saw me do the daily from start to finish with the invective. Um, exotic maxed video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know I have. Let me know what you think about the invective. Leave me in the comments. If you want me to do another exotic max on a different exotic, let me know. Um, I have all the exotics aside from the Vex Smith class and the Necrochasm. So if you want to see any other exotic guns that I haven't already done or you want to see me do an exotic performance review on a specific exotic in a specific situation, let me know what it is and uh, what you think. So I'm going to dance it out. I'm Death from Above. Thank you so much for watching. Honestly, appreciate the views. Until next time, I will see you later. See you bye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Death and Destiny. I am Death from Above. Today we're doing an exotic maxed video on the Mida Multi-Tool. Look at this baby. Like Ricky Bobby always said, I want to go fast. So if you want to go fast, put on the Mida Multi-Tool. So let's talk about how I do these maxed videos. Any legendary or exotic maxed video on a weapon, I will come to the daily mission, put it on the highest difficulty, and use it right now the highest difficulty is level 30 and this is a 331 mighty mighty multi-tool um you can see it's doing 306 damage